I own a 2017 Toyota RAV4 SE and I started hearing some noise like brake pads were worn as I was driving. I checked the pads and they were fine. Then I did a little research and took the caliper off and checked the pins and sure enough, the ones with the rubber ring were completely stuck on the front and rear calipers. Brakes had never been replaced as the car only has 40,000 miles on it. I threw away the bushings, cleaned the pins well, and greased them up with Toyota grease. And now not only that I don't have a vibration when I'm braking, but I also feel like the car has slightly more power. There's all kinds of comments on my other video, and I'll put a link in the description below, but people say, oh yeah, it keeps the keeps the pin centered keeps the pin centered so you don't get a chattering noise or blur 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 so that was a comment from my previous video that i did about caliper slide pins and the little piece of rubber that is on the end of them and how if you use the wrong grease well actually you don't have to even use the wrong grease they just swell up i don't know why they put them on there Dude, okay, so if it was that important, why wouldn't they put rubber on the upper and lower caliper slide pin? Answer me that. And I've never had anyone ever come back to me and say, hey, you know what? I noticed that there's a little bit of chatter now that uh, you did my brakes and my brake job. Did you take off that little piece of rubber caliper on your caliper slide pin? Never has that happened. And there's all kinds of funny comments on this video. And if it was really that important, guys, they would put it on both of them. They would have put it on the top one and the bottom one. And guys sit there and say, oh, it's for anti-chatter and anti-squealing, blah, 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 blah. It's not, dude. It's not, okay? When, when I run in those rubber rings, I always pitch them. Don't care. Leave all the negative comments you want. When yours get stuck, you're going to have to go to a mechanic like myself to get the caliper slide pin out of your caliper. So you can see right here, I'm trying to get, get the lower one out by hand. Um, it doesn't work. It does not want to come out. So when I get my wrench, I'm going to put the open-ended part behind the bolt and try to knock it out with my palm. Just kind of hitting with my palm. It's not moving. BFH. Got my BFH right there. I'm going to line up the uh, wrench on the back of the bolt again and then just hit the uh, wrench with the BFH. And it finally gets the uh, caliper, the stuck caliper slide pin out. And once again, you can see there's a little rubber ring on it. Cut that thing off, burn it, pop it off, but do not leave it on there. Please do not leave it on there. You're just going to run into more problems down the road if you leave it on there. So here I'm cleaning out the uh, hole that the caliper slide pin goes into that's on the actual caliper. All I do is I take some brake clean. Um, pick yourself up a can of brake clean before you, need, before you do any kind of uh, brake work because you're going to need it. Fill it up with brake clean, fill the hole up with brake clean, and I take the slide pin, just slide it back and forth, rotate it around, and basically what I'm trying to do is scrape the walls of the caliper with the slide pin. So as I'm, you know, putting it into the hole, moving it back and forth, I'm moving it up, moving it down, moving the side, left, right, in a 360 degree motion, and you'll, you'll understand what I mean when you get in there. You can actually feel the pin scraping the side of the wall. And I repeat this step, you know, three or four times um, just depending on how much old grease I get out of the uh, caliper. If there's a lot of grease, I'll do it until it's fairly clean. And then before you uh, use a new caliper slide grease, you just want to make sure that uh, the hole's dry, the pin is dry from the uh, brake clean, and then you can apply new, uh, new uh, brake slide grease, which I use right there, brake parts lubricant. It's by Permatex Silicone Ceramic Extreme Brake Parts Lubricant. And I will put a link in the description below where you guys can pick it up on Amazon. Two different sizes. If you're doing a lot of brake jobs, I recommend getting a lar larger bottle like I'm showing right there. Or you can get a small one if it's just, you know, onesie, twosie job. But uh, clean it up. Get all the old grease out of, the, out of the caliper. And then you just need to apply the new grease, the Permatex and make sure everything's working smooth and nicely. Always, always, always remove that piece of rubber at the end of the caliper slide pin. There's no reason for it. Anybody who leaves a comment that's saying, oh, you gotta have it for noise and this and that and engineers always know what they're doing. Come on, dude, don't be that ignorant. If engineers always know what they're doing, 
and why was a Ford 6.0 diesel engine such a piece of junk?